Another big game coming up against the Wanderers, Adama. Oh yeah, uh, we looking forward for the game, but obviously we're gonna take game after game and then you know work hard for the start the game. How do you think the boys are gonna cope um, without Marcos out there? Is it uh, it's obviously gonna be a bit difficult not having him to play? Oh, I think we got 22 players ready to play, you know, and it up to the court to fill the gap, you know. If we are all on the same page, you know, I think uh, the one they're going to put there, he's going to hopefully do the job. And there's that confidence, um, you know, in amongst the group that anyone that does come in, you know, you guys have got confidence in the player that does come in that they'll be able to do the job for you? Uh, I think we always uh, want to achieve the same, we, are, we think the same way, all the 22 players, you know, I think everyone already, if you don't play and always are training, you already Anytime you can have your chance and then you're going to get your chance and then I, I think. And that's, that's the way Ange coaches his teams, isn't it, really? Do you think, um, you were saying a couple of weeks ago how much of a good coach he is. It, it's sort of just like whoever comes in can do the job. It, it's more about the, the structure more than the players that are in there. Yeah, obviously he we trying to get ready for the game. I think everyone ready for that. At the end, uh, on the pitch, the coach cannot do nothing. If you train hard and then on the pitch, you have to respond, you know. Archie Thompson looks good out there. Uh, I'm assuming he'll come back into the side. Did you miss him last week? Yeah, actually he's a great player. We al always miss a great player. But hopefully I think this week he's going to be ready for the game. Coming down from Gold Coast United from last season, how have you found the switch uh, to Melbourne and, and to the victory? Obviously, Melbourne is a big club, you know, you always want to uh, make the next step. I think with Melbourne, if I work hard at training always, I think uh, hopefully if everything right, I can make the next step. And how have you found your season so far, personally? Uh, I think it's okay. It's okay. There is no limit for anyone, you know, you, you can always improve. At training in the game, you always improve, you know. Doesn't matter how uh, how well you play last week, you have to improve and at the step, you know, at the aspect. Yeah. Have you been surprised with how the Wanderers have gone so far this year, considering it's their first season? No. I think if uh, they make a team, it 100% sure they are 100% sure the team is ready. I think they are ready. We're gonna take every game as we want to to go for it, you know. We're not gonna say they are new team. No, every 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 team are the same, you know. And was that just like your experience in the Gold Coast? Because you started off with a, they were a new team, and they sort of did. You did well in your first year up there. Um, what was it sort of like playing in a team that had never played together before? Oh, sometimes it it hard, but you know, as I say, at the end, it, the coach can make the decision. You know, if he think uh, they are ready to play a league, of course they are ready. They're doing well and. Uh, we don't think about them, we think about ourselves, you know, how to concentrate our training, work hard and then Saturday put the performance on the pitch, you know. A couple of weeks ago, Ange Postacoglu said you could play for the Socceroos, is that a dream of yours? Uh, I think uh, it's the dream of like every player, you know, to play for your national team is fantastic, but you know, at, at the moment uh, I'm Ivorian, you know, you never know if I can get the paper and one day hopefully you know anything can happen you just be positive you know. Is that the plan to become an Australian? Oh yes yeah but as I say you know I've been here for four years and you know you never know anything can happen you know.